This is absolutely a gorgeous house. I say it all the time. This house here, if I can pick it up and move it to where I live, it would be amazing. Four bedroom, three bath, two and a half bathroom house. Two car garage, long driveway. But anyway, let's get straight to it. Of course, I would surface clean this sodium hypochlorite down first, and then surface clean it. But if you can see these stains right here, one, two, three, four, and all these little stains right there, that's one. What I mean by that's one, that's another one. All oh, that's the exact same thing. What that is, is tire shine. Whenever somebody washed their car, they tire shined it and it's sealed. So if I was to put water right there, it would look, it would not look wet essentially. So you would have to remove that first. I don't necessarily remove it. I just go over it and I tell the customer that's an added feature. If we wanted to do that, it'll cost a little bit more because it's not part of the house wash. But all that is going to be your tire shine. When it comes to all that up there, just your downstream mix or if you're going to soft wash, it's just your regular household mix. There would be great. But I would definitely put a bag over this. Same thing with that. Put a bag over that. Now, I did make a video about this earlier. The brick, I would wet first before I put my mix on there. Why? I don't want it to dry and dry up white. Special right here. These wood columns here, I would avoid these at all costs. Last thing you need is for that to go oxidized. So I would just avoid these at all costs. Just go around them. Probably a pop-up spray here. So make sure you minimize any overspray on the columns. Would we'll cover that, cover that, cover that, cover that. So let's take a walk around the rest of the house. Move the chairs, of course. So honestly, I would probably end up washing this house anyway. Huh? Man, dirty, 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 dirty. Dirty. Now, with deciding being a little darker, make sure, make sure, make sure you do not let that mix sit too long on that. Why? It's going to oxidize that bad boy. All the way oxidize it. Down here, regardless of what people say about pressure, you need a little bit of pressure right here. No matter how much chemical or whatever you put down here, this needs a little bit of pressure. You got to get up on that a little bit more. So don't mind getting up on that, but make sure you avoid this with pressure. Wherever you see your side butted up, make sure you don't wash this way or even rinse. You don't want nothing to get behind all this because that's nothing but a gap and come out the weeping hole. So just make sure you wash this way and not that way to avoid getting in those gaps. Make sure you have your second story nozzle on hand. Like I all that junk up there. Also, before you even watch, made a video on this also, adequate water pressure. So we're good there. I mean, nice and dirty. Make sure you document anything that's broken. Nice and dirty. I mean, I'm probably just going to wash this house, honestly. Right here. What do you think that is? Rust. Great thing, aluminum brightener will work great on that. If not aluminum brightener, there's other things out there, but you can definitely get that up. <sighs> dirty. All that. All that is dirty. Documentation. Move all this stuff. Just move it all. Move it away. Electrical outlets. Make sure you put a piece of tape on there. Broken. Same thing when it comes to this side. Make sure you don't wash this way. Make sure you wash the opposite way. You don't want all these to get water behind them. She does live on a golf course, so a lot of this stuff happens because of balls that come flying in. But that's part of living on a golf course. Nice mix. We'll get that down. Second story tip, we'll get that down for sure. 
and all that good stuff, man. Just wash it. All right, guys, just to show you what I'm talking about. This is sealed. See how that's beating up compared to right next to it? This is sealed. That is done by tire shine. So you would have to find a way to remove that sealer off the concrete. They sell chemicals for that. You just got to find out which one works perfectly for you. But that, once again, is sealed. So for this driveway, I will put down a 3 to 5% mix. Just because it's real dirty, me, I'll probably go 5% on this. Or if you're using a pump-up sprayer, 50-50 in a pump-up sprayer, watch all this thing just go away. So whether you pre-treat or post-treat, I would go about 5% on this. But now the house wash itself, since the front is majority brick, while the other three sides are vinyl, I would go about 1%, 1, 1 1.5 on this. The brick is not too bad, just in certain spots like right down there, but I will use a pump-up sprayer for those heavy spots. Anything that's slight, I would just downstream mix, about a 1, 1.5% 1 mix. Also, that side, right here me knowing how this can oxidize and get chalky i would do each side at a time so i would spray this side with about two three minutes rinse i would not go in longer than two three minutes now it is a cloudy day you got overcast so maybe a little longer up to five minutes but i would not go longer than five minutes when it comes to stuff like this on a sunny day i would hit it starting here by the time I get down there, I would get ready to rinse it because I do not want this to oxidize on my watch. This is a nice little cove where wasps themselves like to do their thing. So make sure you get it up in here. Cover that up. But the biggest thing is make sure you get anything that goes this way from the front door. Reason why, this is what the customer sees first. Staining all on the door, all that stained. So, as I'm sitting here on the porch, rocking back and forth, gorgeous house, absolutely gorgeous house. Just very, 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 very dirty. Outlets like that right there in my background, you definitely want to cover up, but this house you would have to take your time with, and I would knock out side by side. This is not one of those houses where I would go all the way around and make my way right back. I'm doing one side at a time. Why? It's dirty. You want to make sure you take care of every single nook and cranny, but there's just a lot to go wrong at this house, so I'm in a country, don't mind me. A lot of bugs and stuff, so. I would just take care of this house square inch by square inch. What I would do first is the house wash. Start off with the sides, not the front. Start off with the side, the back, the other side. Work my way up front, then knock out the driveway. That's what I would do. And that's probably what I am gonna do, take care of this house, cause it's a rough shape right now, so. That's how I would wash this house without actually washing the house right now, so. Gene of Ace Contracting Services.